Hi, my name is David P. Shapiro. I'm the owner and managing partner of the law office of David P. Shapiro, located in San Diego, California, where my firm helps good people regain control of their future when charged with a crime. This video, I want to talk to you about another way you could beat your San Diego DUI case, and it involves the defense of necessity. Now, admittedly, when people say, oh, you know, my lawyer's going to run a necessity defense at a DUI, it's a lot of skepticism. There's skepticism from the prosecutor, there's skepticism sometimes even from the judge, and admittedly, there's skepticism or doubt sometimes from a jury or a potential juror who's going to hear this and be like, no, get out of here with that, right? But I can tell you, as someone who's tried DUI cases and obtained not guilty verdicts on DUI cases using a necessity defense and a valid one at that, that it is a serious consideration if the facts support it. So let's talk about it a little bit. Well, the fun thing about a necessity defense, as far as from an attorney's perspective is, it's not about whether your client was under the influence. It's not about whether you were .08 or higher. It's not about whether you were even driving. All of that, in many instances, and in pretty much all instances, needs to be admitted. Yes, you drove. Yes, you were .08 or higher. Yes, but here's the situation. You drove with .08 or higher blood alcohol content, and you, you made that decision because there was no other alternative. And that the alternative, in fact, would have been worse. And it could have resulted in something far more serious, far more dangerous, arguably even a deterioration of someone's medical condition, which is what we see a lot and have had success with on occasion, where someone's driving admittedly under the influence, but they're taking a loved one to the hospital. Or, you know, we had a situation where Client has a friend over for drinks, friend comes over, um, and it's this rural area, friend leaves, she's watching the, the motorcycle lights leave her property, go, 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 and then all of a sudden the motorcycle lights disappear. And she goes, wait a minute, there's no road over there. She gets in her car because it's so rural and wants to use the lights of her vehicle, goes, finds her friend, and then obviously calls the police. The police are like, how'd you get here? Well, I drove. From where? From my house. Clearly, she was under the influence. Our defense was in that situation with that individual in that neighborhood under those set of facts that a necessity defense was valid. And a jury agreed. And it ultimately, what it does is when you launch a, a, a valid necessity defense, the burden then goes back to the district attorney to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that that necessity defense was not valid. So they have an additional burden, so to speak, and it makes their job that much more difficult. So necessity defense, probably the least common, the least used, admittedly the least successful of your DUI defenses, particularly in San Diego, but a valid one nonetheless and something that you and your attorney should be considering if the facts may very well support it, whether it's to negotiate a more favorable outcome of your case by way of a plea bargain or whether it's to fight the case all the way to trial. So if you have a question about a DUI case in San Diego, you can always reach out to my firm, 619-295-3555.